make it. So we've got here the Floral Fusion um, little 6x6 six six paper pack. Um, again, I live in China, so as soon as... What is going on? Give it a minute. There we go, we're back again. Okay, so that's scored. Let's just get all the scoring done while I've got the scoreboard out. So with this piece here, scoring along through that one eighth of an inch notch. Once you've done that, you want to then score at six and three eighths of an inch. This just allows us to wrap this piece like so. And then this is optional, but I just find with something like this, especially if you're going to be keeping it, and then we can do some cutting. Okay, so now that's all of that's my... it, and you're going to cut this whole piece out, like so. Bring it all line to that second one, and then again this one, all the way down, like so. Rotate, and again, cut that whole piece out, and then cut that piece off. And then again, just tidy up your edges. So this top one, I'm just taking a little slither off. And then again, just kind of cutting in and then across. So you just got little notches taken out, like so. And again, just take a little bit off of that edge. So that is what I've got on that end. Then you want to rotate the whole thing and do exactly that again down here. Okay, so that is now the shape that you should have. Okay, just push it down so you can see the little notched bits. You should have four of these and then four edges like so. Keep all of these little pieces, well, I say little pieces, keep all the squares. They're great scraps, they're great for punching through your little punches <laughs> um, and for little die cuts, but they're also gonna be, we're gonna use some of them for our feet. So I'm just gonna get rid of those little tiny bits. Okay, so now we can put this all together. So just use some, I'm using some tacky glue here. And so this is the base, okay? And these are all of our sides. These pieces here, these little tabs, we're gonna glue and stick inside. So you just wanna go along. And I think this one's just got some glue. There we go. Take that off. Just put a thin amount. If, you, if it's a good strong glue, like a Tombow, Selena's stuff, you don't need much at all. But you just want to focus, make sure you're getting it right up to the outer score line there. Okay, and then fold it down and fold it in and then bring that edge up. So it's basically forming the corner of your box. Okay, this stuff dries almost instantly. I'm just going to turn it on its side there just so I can apply some pressure, like so. And then with the opposite one before that dries, Bring that in, and again, making sure that you get a really nice, neat edge there. And again, just pop that on its side, like so. So that's what you should have, is one end of your box. Then with these two now, again, just apply some glue, but focus on the, the very outer part here. Do that one first. Just bring that in, like so. So now you have a box, so that's a normal non-reinforced box, but now we've got these pieces. They are basically all gonna fold in. And because you've taken off those tiny little bits from the side, you get a really neat join in there, in each corner. And it's just all, by doing these kind of little extras, um, it just overall gives it a, real, a much more of a finished look and a real professional look. So um, it's just little hints and tips along the way just to help you there. So now just fold it out slightly. You don't need again a lot of glue, it's just to keep it in place. Just like so. And then fold that in, pop it on its side and with your bone tool, you can't see this bit, and with this one it fits perfectly inside so it covers the whole area. Use the flat end of a ruler if you want. I'm just using my finger here just to make sure. But now you can see that that covers the whole base of that box. So now we've got that all done. This is done. And then it's all, you can see now how quickly it's all coming together. And soon you have it done. So next we will do the little edges here. Now again, this is completely optional. The box, you can see how lovely it looks without. So don't worry, but I just thought this is nice to keep this as a you want to keep it as a trinket box 
like I said, you won't need that ribbon. So again, you can just decide. There's lots of different ways to make this suit you. Um, so I've got four of them there. And do this before you stick it onto there, just because if you do go wrong with this and you've already stuck it onto there, you've lost this box as well as this. Whereas if you put these on and it goes wrong, you've only got to redo this bit rather than redo the box as well. And what I would say is if you've never used these before, because I know this is the first time I'm using them in a tutorial, but I have used these on projects you know, over years, um, just practice on some scrap card these are inexpensive, so you can you know you can afford to kind of lose a couple before you actually put it onto a, a proper project. So these are curved ones. You can get the the pointy um, corner, um, but these are curved, which is why I've corner rounded um, my edges there. So this is when you need your pliers. Now, what you want to do? So I'll do the the base ones first. Obviously, this is going to be sitting like so. You just pop it in the corner there. And then literally I start from the middle and just squeeze it and pinch it between the tweezers, the tweezers, the pliers, until it literally grips onto that card. Like so. See there. So again, just do that other one just to show you. So pop it in. Kind of hold it, I'm kind of holding it, my finger underneath holding it in place. But once you push it with the pliers, you're pushing it in anyway. Start from the middle, squeeze down, and then just work your way out. If you want to put um, some tissue between, because some of the pliers might leave an impression, this leaves a slight impression, but I actually wanted it to look a little bit more tarnished and not so perfect and shiny. But again, I don't know how well it's picking it up here, but can you see now? That's perfect, that's solid, that's not coming out at all. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat those on the top ones here. Okay, so now that's all done. It just it just completely transforms your project by using these. And um, now I've got them all again, because I did leave them at my mum's, I'm going to be incorporating them into a lot more projects. And I've got a few more journals and stuff in the pipeline, and these look great um, to kind of protect the corners of your books and stuff. All that hard work we do, it's nice um, if we can, you know, protect it that little bit more. So now we need to stick this down onto the base but before we do that we've got to put the other bit of ribbon in because this is now going to sit down here with the box over the top so just as we did with the lid I'm going to just pop some glue just on the ribbon to just keep it in place for the minute again about an inch in and making sure it's nice and centered across the bottom like so and then I'm just going to splodge some more glue just on top of that. But again, don't go right to the end. And then just cover the base again, making sure you get right up to the edges because you don't want these lifting. And this dries clear as well, so again, it's an all round good glue to okay. use. And again, you then want to sit that on your base. And again, you've got time to wiggle it, move it around until you're happy. Bring up the back, use that as your kind of guy because you want to push this right up to the back there like I'm doing and then just make sure you've got an even side border and once you're happy that it's in place you can just really make sure you stick it all down okay so now a couple of other options are completely up to you you can now stick down the back which is what I did do on this one just you know I just think that obviously gives it more of a jewelry box kind of look like so and you could put a mirror on the back here you can buy the um, craft mirrors um, which would sit nicely there so if you imagine that's got no ribbon and it's got a mirror there that's just a nice little bedside little box um, and that's how it looks without it so again it still looks nice with it not stuck down but I am going to stick it down because I want to um, and the feet are completely optional as well so there's lots of bits that you cannot add to it and it still looks lovely so don't worry if you don't have the metal don't worry if you don't want to do the feet it will still be a beautiful box. And I will link the Mother's Day one that I've done because that is bigger. Um, I think it's got an, it's either got a six by six base or an eight by eight base. This is four by four um, and it's the same process. So again, just get my bone folder there and just, again, I'm using the whole flat edge of it there just so you don't get any lines in your card. Okay, so there you go. I think that is an absolutely gorgeous. I just bring that up. 
I think it's stunning. And you can go to town on the top, you could put lots of um, those uh, Fomarinian flowers, die cuts, you could have a nice circle die cut and a sentiment on there. You know, I wanted these plain. You can see that I have got a lot of um, ribbon, but I just pr would prefer to have more than less. I'm not gonna go too tight yet because the base is still setting, but just roughly um, put my bow in like so and then I can just cut off I'll cut it off there just so I can still play around a little bit more okay so that is where we are now with the box now with your little scrap pieces here that I said to keep so these are all two by two squares what we want to do now is tidy them up a little bit although I've got one there that's fine and I think that one's okay so I'm gonna keep those ones oh moving the whole map there that's better um and then what you want to do is grab your scoreboard. So I'm actually going to be cutting them in half. So um, I'm just going to score along one of the sides at one inch. You only need two pieces and then score another one at one inch. Then turn it on the other side and you want to score at every half inch. So half, one, one and a half and then obviously two is the end. So again here you score down the one, then rotate it and score at half an inch, one inch, and one and a half. Okay. And these are just, I just wanted a quick way to make some feet and them look in keeping with that oriental feel. You just then want to cut down that one inch score line, like so, and then burnish all the score lines. Okay, so that's what you should have. Now what you're going to do is fold it up like so and then this one is going to fold over to form a triangle and it's that piece here that we're going to glue so I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue in oh do it like so I'm just trying to keep it close to the camera so you can see because it's a little bit fiddly and it's so small so I've just put glue on the fourth rectangle on the right hand side here the very end Bring that one up to form your triangle shape and then just bring that one over. Okay, and just hold it in place there until that all sets. And what I find is if you've got your stylus, where the glue's setting on this side, pop that down flat and put your stylus in and you can just push. See there what I'm doing? Just putting some pressure down on the side that's got the glue. Okay, and then you will have a little foot and it's the side that's been glued, this side here, that's got two layers of card so already that's going to become really strong and that's the piece that we're going to stick to the base of our box to create that look for our feet. Which again, I'll just bring it up here, you can see. They're really, really strong feet. So I'm just going to carry on and do that for the other three okay, pieces. Okay, so now I've got my four little triangle feet. So now we just need to stick them onto the base, okay. So you're gluing down the side that's already been glued together. So the side, the edge that's got the two pieces of card stuck together, you want to put another little bit of glue on the back of that. And then just try and eyeball it so that you are sitting it so it is matching the corner of the box here. So you can see there, it's coming in about a quarter of an inch in from the side and the top there in the corner. So that's one like so. Get the other one. So it's just a way to kind of even make these bits with just normal craft supplies. You know, you don't have to go, you can buy little metal feet, but you tend to just get packs of four, eight or 12. And I think they're quite pricey. But I think if you buy these little metal pieces, which are inexpensive, they give you that kind of um, ooh, real, um, quality finish and look to your projects but without costing an arm and a leg and then these little feet I think look equally nice and they're just made out of card so then just mirror them on the opposite end again the same kind of distance from the edge and apart from each other as well and then that last one just going like so 
And I'm just going to turn it upside down so it would just have the natural weight of the box just to keep it all in place. Just put a little bit of pressure on, just to kind of, you don't want them sliding around, but just to get them. But once now, I can put lots of pressure on that. That will hold, you know, lots of jewellery. It would hold a nice, what other thing could you, I'm trying to think what nice things to gift in here. Those nice tinned candles, because you can get the ones that are probably no more than two inches high. Um, but it's mainly for jewellery. I think it's a really beautiful piece. And, um, you know, just to put those little knickknacks that we have sometimes on our bedside um, and sideboards and stuff. Um, but I think that is pretty much it now. So you can see underneath, just put it on the side. And obviously that's that one all done there. So there you have it. I absolutely adore these. I think they're beautiful. Um, I'm really pleased with them and they're super easy to make. And I edit very little out of my videos. All I edit is the gluing, the, you know, you don't need to see me glue every single piece or fold every single piece. So it's a pretty quick project as well. So I hope